How happy are you that John and Nat have their own place to live now? <laughs> we are out of the freaking RV. The RV, which we've made fun of at this point because, like, it's just basically homeless living in this RV this whole time. I'm super excited that, you know, they have a home base. What's great about it is that means they're more integrated in the community, which I'm so looking forward to building that up. Um, are we going to find out anything about the John Henry of our Earth? Uh, you know, it's a good question. I assume so, you know, because they, they hinted at it in season one, the fact, you know, he died under mysterious circumstances, the fact that, you know, like, um, uh, uh, like he has the sister out there. So I'm really, really uh, hopeful that we explore more of that in season three. How happy were you when you found out that Taylor was going to join the cast full time? I was so excited. I love Taylor. And you know, the funny thing is, uh, I, I don't know if people know, that old, that old episode, uh, uh, episode 107, where they introduced, and we saw that he was John Henry Irons, all the scenes Taylor and I did, we did on the first day we met. So oh, we didn't wow. really have much time to meet. Like, it was literally like, hi, nice to meet you. Let's do scenes where like your mother dies and we, and I'm leaving you all this deep, this depth. Uh, so now we actually get to like hang out and like, you know, like, like develop a real bond. And it's, it's great. I, I'm so happy. So when you auditioned for this role, did you think you were Lex Luthor? I did. I did. I, I had different sides. I would say that the sides were, the sides were ambiguous. I think it was like, you know, Mike, Mike Anderson or some generic name. Yeah. But, but like you could tell by the way it was done. Like, like I was like, oh, he's Lex Luthor. So I thought so originally, and I was excited for that just because, you know, it's Lex Luthor. And then after I booked it, they told me the flip. I was like, oh, which was great. But then I was like, oh, now I have to change my way into the character, you know? But it made everybody love, I mean, they heard John Henry, and we're like, oh my god, we love him. A hundred percent. Me as well, me as well, because I grew up on that, so I, yeah. I love him. Well, does that mean you saw the Steel movie as a child? We don't talk about the Steel movie. Like, we don't talk about Bruno. No, I, I <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 okay, I don't. I did not see it if only because I already had heard so many bad reviews about it. Uh, uh, so I missed it. I love Shaq, though. I love Shaq. I'm a big Shaq fan, but I think even he knows it could have been better. Can we look forward to any improvements to the steel armor, like maybe the cape or the S at some point? You know, uh, that's a good question. I will tell you, this is the best non answer I'm going to give okay. you. Is that everyone on the show is aware what the, the comic accurate suit looks like, including the helmet? Everyone on the show <laughs> is aware of what the comic accurate suit looks like. And that is the best answer I can give you right now. And for my last question, what yeah. can you say to the fans who will be watching this? Oh, oh, fans, seriously, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I've been saying it all day, but, but it truly is the, the, the case that without you guys, we wouldn't have a show. And I love how passionate you guys are. And for me, I... I forget how deep um, superheroes, you know, can be for people, how much it can resonate with them, what we can learn. So I've been really thankful, and you guys have opened my eyes to like what we can do. So I really appreciate it.